The diversity of the phenomena of nature is so great and the treasures hidden in the heavens so rich, precisely in order that the human mind shall never be lacking in fresh nourishment. Geometry is unique and eternal, a reflection from the mind of God. I much prefer the sharpest criticism of a single intelligent man to the thoughtless approval of the masses. Truth is the daughter of time, and I feel no shame in being her midwife. The wisdom of the Lord is infinite, as are also His glory and power. My aim is to show that the heavenly machine is not a kind of divine living being, but a kind of clockwork. The study of the heavens compels the soul to look upward and leads us from this world to another. I am stealing the golden vessels of the Egyptians to build a tabernacle for my God. The earth is not the center of the universe, but one of the wanderers in the vast heavens. Nature uses as little as possible of anything. God wanted us to recognize these laws, and He created us after His own image so that we could do so. The more we know, the more we realize how much we do not know. The world of nature is a book written in the language of mathematics. I believe only and alone in the service of Jesus Christ. In Him is all refuge and solace. God is the kind Creator who brought order out of chaos. The paths of the planets are as perfect as the notes in a musical composition. I used to measure the heavens. Now I shall measure the shadows of the earth. Astronomy is the noblest of sciences. God gives every animal the means to sustain its life. When things are investigated, the knowledge of truth is perfected. I am merely thinking God's thoughts after Him. God has waited 6,000 years for His work to be seen. The universe is stamped with the adornment of harmonic proportions. My soul was born for science. God created the world according to number, weight, and measure. The sun alone appears, by virtue of its dignity and power, suited to become the center of the universe. There is geometry in the humming of the strings. Do not ask what the stars can do for you. Ask what you can learn from the stars. Astronomy is written for mathematicians. The image of God is imprinted on human reason. I felt carried away and possessed by an unutterable rapture over the divine spectacle of the heavenly harmony. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The goal of all learning is to comprehend the harmony of the universe. Nature's simplicity and unity are admirable. There is nothing in the world that is not marvelous. I yield freely to the sacred frenzy. Reason should be preferred to the senses. Let my name perish if only the laws of the universe prevail. The world is a mirror of the divine. Music is the motion of the soul made audible. The planets move in ellipses with the sun at one focus. Faith is the eye of the soul. Order is the first law of heaven. The laws of nature are not subject to human authority. All motion is governed by proportion and measure. Nothing is lost to God. Mathematics is the archetype of the beautiful. The heavens are not silent, they sing the glory of God. Every new discovery in science is a step closer to God. In the divine ordering of things, there is no chaos. Truth is consistent, whether or not it is believed. The cosmos is the image of God expressed in number and proportion. There is a geometry inherent in the music of the stars. The universe is knowable for it is designed with reason. He who reflects on the order of the cosmos reflects on the mind of God. Each planet sings its part in the celestial chorus. Truth must be pursued, even if it leads through thorns. 
A scientist is not to impose upon nature, but to listen to it. In every created thing, God has written his signature. There is divine beauty in the elliptical motion of planets. Knowledge is the bridge between the mind of man and the mind of God. To believe in the harmony of the cosmos is to believe in God's wisdom. The mind rejoices when it recognizes truth. To discover order in the heavens is to touch the divine. Science is a means of worshiping God through understanding. Even in the darkness of ignorance, the stars shine with truth. My science is my prayer.